Hello! Thanks so much for coming back into AT Beauty. Um, I am doing a holiday look, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off. Priming my eyes right now with some concealer. And I think this is the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer, I'm pretty sure. That's what I've been using lately, so I can't imagine what else it would be. Um, I will list everything down below, though. Um, so yeah, I'm just priming my eyes. I will go ahead and um, set that with a powder. Um, usually I use the Too Faced um, Neutral Eye Palette, and I just use that white shadow. So yeah, I'm just kind of going in with that. Um, and don't mind my little Peter Pan shadow in the back. I was trying so hard to use the good light, and I ended up... It just didn't work out, but anyway, I still wanted to get a video out, so we're working with it. But yeah, I'm just kind of going back and forth, making sure that those eyes are good and primed. And do let me know if you guys um, have any different interests that you guys want to see instead of... I know there's like tons of holiday looks going on right now. I do have a list of things I want to work on, but I really do um, want and appreciate any feedback that you guys have, so... Go and continue on in the tutorial though. Um, this is just a shadow from MAC. I will be listing everything like I said. Um, but this is going to be my transition shadow. I'm keeping the eye pretty neutral because I am going in with a wing with glitter on top of that um, to kind of line the wing that I do. So um, anyways, I'm just kind of creating a really super neutral eye. Um, kind of staying with the, the warm tone. You definitely do not need to stick to the neutral eye. That's kind of what I wanted to do for me because um, it seems a little bit more wearable, but super versatile. You could do really what, whatever you wanted. Here I'm going in with a buxom shadow. Um, I kind of wanted to get a little bit um, of a different dimension going on here, so I just add, added that kind of lavender pink mauve light color. Um, and just to kind of further blend out what I was already working on, I didn't really want to change the... the colors too much so um, anyway just kind of creating a little bit of work there now I want to start on my brows I am going to be doing um, an in-depth brow tutorial um, since I have such fair skin and also extremely blonde hair so um, if you're interested in that you know sooner rather than later just let me know but um, that is coming soon just highlighting my brown bone here. This is from the Too Faced Neutral Eye Palette. I'm going to go ahead and start also with my wing liner. Um, I am just using the Maybelline Gel Studio. Um, if you guys have any suggestions though for gel liners, um, let me know. I'd really like to hear you guys' feedback about that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go in with an e.l.f. brush here, just um, slowly working on that um, wing. I will line my lid first and then um, start the foundation of the rest of the wing. Um, so it's a pretty slow process for me just because um, my gel liner has gotten tacky recently, which I'm sure if you guys are using old product like me, you will also experience that.
right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, line the upper part of my uh, wing here with a NYX glitter liner, and I really like how this one turned out. It's technically silver in color, but it really played on the neutral um, eyeshadows that I was using, so um, I really like how it turned out. I will also um, be cleaning this up later um, using my still um, Maybelline gel liner that I used earlier just to make sure, make sure it's a really crisp line, um, but I do that kind of after the gel from the NYX glitter dries because I don't want to move that product around. It can get kind of messy. Yeah, so I just did my foundation. I did a foundation routine. Um, you guys can check it out. I'll list uh, the link below. But I figured if you want to take a look at that, there's another video because this could be super long otherwise. Um, right now I am kind of smoking out my lower lash line. This is a darker shadow from the MAC uh, Warm Neutral Palette. Um, so I'm starting in with a darker color and then I'll take... Uh, a warmer color, the one I, that I actually began with in my transition shade um, to kind of bring the look all together, but I really like how this um, kind of opened up my eyes a little bit more. Um, I did leave my waterline um, just blank. I didn't really want to make that too dramatic. As you can see, I'm just finishing off this look. I did go ahead and add the rest of my face, so I did a little bit of contouring, a little bit of blush, and now I'm just adding on a super bold red lip. I wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for tuning in to AT Beauty. Um, please let me know if you have any feedback, and please do subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys.